Today's video is a follow-up of the SD card method of installing Windows onto the Steam Deck. A viewer brought up a really good question. If we have a fairly large SD card, can we use that for both Windows installation and SteamWise game library? The answer is yes, and that is exactly what I will demonstrate in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. This video assumes you already have an SD card with Windows installed. If you haven't got it done yet, watch part 3 of the SteamWise and Windows Dual Boot video. I will leave the link in the description. If you already have an SD card used as SteamWise library, in theory you can back up the game files and once you are done with the setup, just copy back the game files and ask Steam to install the games to the new location. In which case, instead of re-downloading, Steam should discover the game files at the new location and just verify them. That's out of the scope of today's video though. That's pretty much all we need. Of course you want to make sure your SD card is big enough so that the setup makes more sense. Also I recommend using mouse and keyboard because there will be some command lines in the later part of the video. The first thing we will need to do is to create a new partition for SteamWise to use. Right now, our SD card, if you follow my video, should have just two partitions, the EFI partition and the Windows partition. To make room for the new partition, we need to shrink the Windows partition. Go to Disk Management. Here, identify your Windows partition. Right-click on it and select Shrink Volume. Here, Windows will tell you the maximum amount you can squeeze out of the Windows partition. That's normally not what you want, so type in the size of the new partition you want, which will be used by SteamWise for installing games. Here, I have a 128GB SD card for demonstration purposes, and I'm allocating 64GB to the new partition. Once you've typed in the number, click Shrink. After it's done, we can see some free space after the Windows partition. To make the work after booting into SteamWise easier, here I will create an NTFS partition to occupy this free space. After the formatting is done, we can reboot the machine into SteamOS. Here we are in the desktop mode of SteamOS. You can access desktop mode either from the left side menu, choose power option, or by holding the power button. The majority of this video will be done in desktop mode. You can see I have a sticky note with the command for formatting the new SD card partition we just created in Windows. Don't worry, I will put all the commands used in the video in the video description. The reason of the complicated command is because Steam is quite finicky when it comes to a game library partition. SteamWise requires a game library partition to be case insensitive, to be writable, to be executable, to be empty. Open the terminal window, you can search console in the search bar. Now before doing anything, use password command to create a new password for the deck account. This must be done so that the sudo command can function properly. The sudo command works similar to Windows UAC, but unlike UAC, sudo command asks you for the password. So your account must have a password in the first place. The command will ask you for the new password for the account. Go ahead and type in the password. It will not be displayed on the terminal window, not even asterisks, but it is accepting your input. Before copy-pasting the command from the description, you need to check the device file of your newly created partition. It can be different from mine. Use sudo lsblk command, which stands for list blocks, to show all the block devices on the system. Here we can see the device MMC Block 0P2 is the partition I just created in Windows. Note down the name. Then copy the command from the description. If your partition name is not the same as mine, you will need to modify the format command accordingly so you don't format the wrong partition. This shouldn't take too long as the command is skipping trim. If you still remember SteamWise requirements of a game library partition that I mentioned earlier, the format command covers two of those. It formatted the partition into a case insensitive ext4 partition, and is now an empty partition. There are still two other requirements. 
To make it executable, we need to modify a file called fstab. This file tells Linux how to mount specific partitions. To modify that, we'll use a command line editor called nano. Type in sudo nano slash etc slash fstab. Don't be scared of what you're seeing. We're not going to remove anything. Instead, we'll add a new line for the newly created partition. Typing everything as shown on the video is also available in the video description. Change and only change the first part if your partition has a different name than mine. This file is very critical, so make very sure you don't modify other parts of the file. Once you are done, press Ctrl-O to override the current fstab file, and Ctrl-X to quit the nano editor. Now we need to reboot the machine so that the new partition can be mounted correctly. First thing after a reboot is to make sure the partition is mounted. You can use df-h command to do that. Before adding the partition to Steam, there's still one more requirement we need to satisfy. We need to make the partition writable by changing the ownership. To do that, we'll use the chown command, which stands for change ownership. Here, the command I'm typing in will change the ownership to the DAC account. After that, I just run the rm-rf command on the partition to make sure it's empty. Make sure you put the right path, because I chose to mount the MMC Block 0P2 block device to the MMC Block 0P1 folder, so MMC Block 0P1 is the path of the new partition. I know it's confusing. I did that because originally I thought that was how SteamOS identifies a game library partition, but for later on, I realized it was actually quite flexible. So in theory, you could mount the partition anywhere you want, and as long as the four requirements are met, you should be good to go. After these final steps with the command line, we can go to Steam in desktop mode to add a library partition. Click on the Steam icon in the system tray and go to Settings. Then go to the Download tab and click on Steam Library Folders. In the newly popped up window, click on the plus symbol. The new partition should automatically pop up as it satisfies all four requirements. Voila, we're finished adding the SD card to SteamOS while retaining the Windows installation. You can choose to move some games to the SD card partition like what I'm going to show you right now. So there you have it, a tutorial for using an SD card for both Windows installation and SteamOS game library. I think this can really benefit people who bought the base model. This is a really cheap option to fully enjoy both SteamOS and Windows on your Steam Deck. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if you find this video useful and subscribe to the channel for future contents. I will see you in the next video.